is Marcus Alex and welcome back to Fable 2. Let's jump straight back in and we are in Bower Lake. Teresa's tasked us to meet her by the gates after we pick up some stuff at our tent and then we're heading down to that building in the background you might see over there. So apparently we're a gypsy. Not really sure how I feel about that. People here dress funny and all. But hey, each to their own, eh? Let's see. Ooh, looks like a little party's going on down here. What happened to Perilous inside that cave is seldom spoken of. And ah, I'm not going to it's tell the you young either. sparrow I Suffice see. It to say ready to take on the world, are you? Yeah, I'm ready to see the world. While you are telling your little stories. Chicken there. This is your caravan. You can sleep here for extra bonuses and it will act as a marital home if you marry. Really? Would you like to live in a small caravan in the middle of a forest? With a load of these guys you just barging in? I wouldn't. How do you do it? Someone has tried to flirt with you. I'm single and proud, as far as this adventure is concerned. A rusty longsword, a light splintered crossbow, a placebo health potion. <laughs> okay. Okay, game. I see what you're doing. Dog it sealer, of course. Collar of holding. Effectively binds your dog to, well, the collar itself. Using ancient magic. Hmm. Okay. Spade. You know, if I need to bury bodies. Let's change this while we're at it. Yeah, let's rent it out. Yeah. I don't need no caravan. I'm an adventurer. I can sleep in the woods. Actually, that reminds me. Doggy, come here. Let's have a look at this collar of holding. Where is it? Probably in miscellaneous. Your actions have affected your purity. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Collar of holding. Oh, I can name the dog here. Okay, fine. Backspace. Oh, uh, I guess I'll name him after my current dog. I'm sorry you guys have to see this. I'm sure it's not as entertaining as it could be. Oh, there we go. Bracken. Loves me, is not afraid of me, and thankfully isn't in love with me. Yep, yeah, that'll do me nicely. Hello, Teresa. Now come with me. Uh, okay. Open the gate. Good luck. No thanks. So are we going? Teresa. Okay, maybe we're taking the lead. Oh, hello. I'm being pushed to the side. Teresa. Take this. Bower Lake Tomb Seal. Dark Seal. It is a powerful artifact, the kind of which all heroes once carried. It will grant you access to places others cannot go. It will also allow me to talk to you when necessary. Now, look down towards the lake. In its darkest depths lies the chamber of fate. When you come out again, you will be stronger, much stronger. Now go. Okay, looks like we're heading down to the tomb. Uh, let's just take the easy route. Jump down once. Jump down again. There we go. Oh, and there's a chest. Awesome. This is how games should be played. I don't have to look for the chest, they're put straight in front of me. An amethyst. Hmm, nice. Well, I'm sure I can sell that to someone for some coin. Maybe I'll start becoming a property magnate or something. 
A bit of extra cast can't go amiss, can it? I wonder if there's anything around here, actually. I have played this game before, but I've never actually, you know... Oh, hello. Rare silver keys. Lovely. What was I saying? Yeah, let's unlock the tomb using the guild seal. That's got to hurt in your pocket, all those spikes. Entering the old tomb. What was I saying? Yeah, I've played this game once before, but it was ages ago, so I can't remember anything. I'm pretty much playing this close to blind where it comes to exploration and everything. But story I already know. Don't be alarmed. I'm speaking to you through the guild seal. You will need to jump into that hole to continue. Don't worry. The water at the bottom will break your fall. How do you know? Have you done this before? And why is there a massive hole here? Huh. Nice, dank, water-filled cave. Nothing better. Let's have a look around here. Should never take things on first appearance. There's always something in an RPG. Hmm. Anything here? Nope. Okay, let's vote down. And I come against my first enemy, the giant beetles. Because nothing fate makes you feel more heroic than killing a few beetles like a glorified exterminator. Alright, these things I'm gathering here, guys, are called experience orbs, if you don't already know. And basically, they're the experience that these creatures carry with them. Like their own thoughts and memories and stuff. Which I can then use to level up. A bit creepy when you think about it, but you just wait. Those green orbs hold the knowledge and experience of the creatures that you see. Yeah, as I've just explained. Bit of an unrealistic crossbow, but I'm not complaining. Alright, what we got over here? Ah, a chest. Everybody loves a chest. Children's health potion. So we've gone from placebo to children's health now. Okay. Fine. I guess I am rather young. You'll have to shoot the switch to go any further. A beautiful flip switch. Let's carry on the deep dark tunnel. Follow the green trail. Oh, glowing golden trail. Quite a few more baddies. Oh! Oh, well, they don't like me. Leave me alone! Go away! Beetles. You can understand now why Balthazar hated beetles so much. And we're back to water. Let's hope there's not a shark in here. Right. Hello, what's this? Ah, a corpse. Lovely. You got anything on you, buddy? A diary. Okay, so he's a treasure hunter. Let's have a nosy round, see if we can find anything else. Oh, this must be his friend. Yeah, this is Eric. Okay, so the three of them went down here to try and find some and ended up all dying of something. Maybe the water poisonous or something. And they couldn't drink it. Because there's plenty of mushrooms and water here. 
Actually, that's probably the problem. I ate too many of the mushrooms. Ah, lovely. Yeah, poisoning himself. Okay, fine. Let's jump back down here, shall we? And back into the lake. Bewitching augment. Alright. I'll just keep hold of that then. So I might as well explain to you guys what I plan to do for this session. I will be making, I'm hoping, 15 minute long videos and will be uploading them daily if possible until I finished this game and then I'll be moving to the rest of the Fable Trilogy. Tap Y to shoot. Oh. You can understand why Balthazar hated these beetles so much. They are huge. The size of my head. I'd hate beetles too. If they were as big as my head. I wonder if you can get that. Probably can. Yep, stay away. Oh, hello. Nothing around here. Nope, just a deep, dark abyss. Lovely. wonder what's down there. Might find some ancient secrets to the old kingdom or something. Experience. Bang. Bang. Uh oh. There's a lot of these buggers. And you're dead. Awesome. Hello. You sent them, do you, boy? If you do, I don't. Hey, creepy. Ah. Nothing like a bit of flip switch action. Well, I guess that's the way in. I wonder where that door was in the original game. In me crevice or something. Oh, hello. Books, books, books. Lots of books. I wonder if there's anything else down here. I am a dwarf. And I'm walking through a hole. Oh, beetles. Those green orbs hold the knowledge and experience of the creatures that you kill. I know. I've explained that already, Teresa. Books on the Tatter Spire. Ah, the Hero of Oakvale. I'll have to get round to that. But for now, this'll do. Oh, lovely. Do you hear that, guys? The end is coming. No, I'm stuck. There we go. Die, you evil barrel! And let's open this somewhat moss over chest. An amethyst. Yep, that's cool. Nothing in these, is there? Nope. Okay. Walk around. Kill even more barrels! They are the spawn of all evil, I tell you. They look innocent. They sit on your step. Or outside your building. But they're evilly plotting. Just you wait. Bit of money. It's always good. Let's get back on the trail. Like Theseus did to try and get out of the maze with the Minotaur. Beyond these broken doors 
lies the Heroes Guild. Okay, Teresa. Well, I think that's a good place to leave it there for now, guys. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.